We're trying to determine the values of h or b, this vector would be within the span of these two vectors. So let's try to just solve this. It'd be 1, negative 7, 3, 2, negative 10, negative 2, negative 1, 2, and h. Now, uh, we can just go ahead and uh, subtract 2 from here. We can sub uh, basically add a 14 there and then subtract 6 from here, giving us 0. This will be a 4. And then this will be uh, negative 8. And then uh, 0, 4, negative 8. And then here we can do plus 1. And then here we would get uh, minus 7. And this is plus 3. So this gives us a negative 5. This is our 0. And now here we have h plus 3. Let's divide this row by 4 so that we get a 1 here and a negative 2 right here. Now let's just kind of rewrite this one more time so it's not so sloppy. We have 1, negative 7, 3, 0, 1, negative 2, 0, negative 5, and h plus 3. At this point, let's go ahead and just divide this by negative 5 and this by negative 5, leaving us with a 1 here. And uh, this should be good enough to notice that we have two variables in the same spot right here that are leading us towards these uh, two different answers. So we can essentially say that uh, 1 times y equals negative 2, or 1 times y equals um, h plus 3 over negative 5. So obviously these two things equal each other negative 2 equals h plus 3 over negative 5. So technically we get a 10 equals h plus 3. And so therefore h must equal 7. Pretty cool.